Hello. Welcome to the Buck and Billy Ray channel. Let's vlog today, shall we? Huh? You. Oh, you. You. No, you're good. You're good. Oh, no. You are. You're good. You're, you're good. So, I, I always try and leave a set of glasses out here, and I drives me nuts that I forget sometimes. So I'm gonna go get them. Because when you hit 40, I think your eyes, my eyes start going. My wife told me that. She's a couple years older than I am. And she said, when you hit 40, your eyes are gonna go. And she was right. So, I just, uh, oh man. Seems to be endless with you, you guys. Uh, John, John L. The outpouring of, of support from you people is crazy. John made that little page where we can all go and start figuring out some designs for the for the uh, for the t-shirts and hoodies and stuff. I think that's great. And I got I got to say something right now. I, I have difficulty containing my excitement. You guys know me enough now to know that I'm not Mr. Computerized Guy. Um, I live on a power saw. That's what I do. That's that's what I do. I live on a power saw. Now, I wrote a song called The Woodman. And my mom kind of helped me out with it. We kind of co-wrote it together. Um... And I put it up on Bandcamp. You guys asked for it. A few of you were mentioning that you might like to, to, to get it. So I, I, I put it up on Bandcamp. I, I had to figure all that stuff out. I had some friends come over, one of my, my boys, uh, good buddies, who, who is a wonderful musician as well. And he come and helped me out, uh, set up, uh, you know, I had to set up uh, all of it. Bandcamp, all that stuff. I don't, I don't know how to do it. So I had help from them people. And I, I'm sitting there this morning, and all of a sudden, and I know it's from you guys. I know it is, and I know it's from a couple other places, but I know it's from you guys. All of a sudden, you know, notifications and bleep, bleep, and it's not. Thank you. You guys have bought in the song. A few years have bought in the song, and I, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you so much. It's a short little song. It's a catchy little tune. Uh, anybody who's ever run a power saw or lived on a power saw, whether it's delivering firewood or climbing trees or falling timber, I think you'll relate to, well, I know you'll relate to the song. So uh, thank you so much. So that's the start of today's vlog. I am, I, I am, I, I was crying. I'll, I'll look you straight in the face and tell you I was crying. When, 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 when I got the, the, the notifications from Bandcamp saying that you sold uh, Woodman. Their, their, their thing is, uh, when they send you, the words they use is, cha-ching. <laughs> That's what they say when they send you a message. Woodman, uh, whatever. So, so I just, I can't even explain how that feels. It's incredible. It's incredible. So that is the start of today's vlog. The Woodman. I can't believe it. Man. I just... I can't believe it, but I'm starting to. I'm starting to believe it. I'm gonna file up the saw. Me and the boy are gonna go get some firewood, bring it over to the yard. I got this nice video prepared from falling the trees to uh, hauling it out, bucking it, throwing it in, splitting and stacking it. Yeah, nice fur. Talk to you in a bit. All right, so. This is pretty much under control. I'll probably find a couple little more you know, dry logs here and there just to fill this up. There's hardly anything. I think I need like not even a quarter of a cord and I got my six cords there for, for, for this season coming up. And then here, we're starting to get this rolling here. Me and the boy are going out to get a little more. This fur is just beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna have to move that out of there. But this is good. This looks real good. So we're heading off. We got a couple of power saws in the back of this truck. And it just seems to me this is how I roll these days. I haven't had them huskies out for a while. Today we got a nice little assortment. We got one, two, five, 
850 and we got our little 1010 here pro 1010 not 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 pro mac not 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 pro mac pro 1010 good little saw We'll buck that up, put it in the truck, and it'll give us a little more weight for the next log. That's a wonderful power saw. It's a 32 inch bar with a skip tooth chain on it with a full house, or pardon me, a, a hand file. An 850, an old 850 from like the mid 70s. I love it. They're so smooth with that rubber mounting system. They were way ahead of their time. Hey guys. Okay, we, uh, we're in a situation. We need to drag this log over, but of course, as soon as I pull it, it's gonna slam into this truck because we're right here. So I'm just gonna use the stump here. I put a little rigging notch in it. So we're just gonna back up a bit here and I should be able to flick that right over top of that stump. Sonny, pull up the slack and drop that rope in that, in that, uh, that, that notch for me. Okay, let's see if she's caught up on anything. Oh, it's right here. Whoa, I like it. Oh yeah, she's Joe poking in the ground now. That's good. Very good, son. That's what we want. I'll clean it off here, and then we'll be able to pull it straight out. Because it'll bump that stump and kick out. It's perfect. Yeah, that notch works real nice. See how that works, honey? interesting okay now that we got about 2,000 pounds in the truck I'm going after a pretty good size log here now I mean it's you know that's why rope friends when you're pulling wood rope is much better than chain or big rope and you know why 
because it acts like an elastic band. You actually get two pulls. You get the, the initial pull. Actually, I gotta cut that little willow stump down right there. That's gonna bug us. Unless it'll roll over it. But I need my initial jerk. So the initial starting pull is very important when you're pulling wood like this with your pickups and your whatevers, skidders, yarders, anything. Initial pull, that's why a good chokerman is, is worth a million bucks. I'm gonna cut that little willow stem down right there real quick so that my initial, and I gotta roll on the choker so that when I pull it's gonna roll up over this wood and get moving. So I'm hoping to give it a good jerk. Okay, that's, that's my initial pull and it gets it moving. And then by that time, you're off. You're in second gear and you're rolling and you haven't hurt your truck because you're, you're using rope. You guys get me, you feel me? Chain, you'll break your truck because there's no give Rope, big rope works like an elastic band. I think I already said that, didn't I? Okay, I gotta cut this willow down here. So now, I'm ready for a big jerk here. And I gotta roll on the choker. So let's see what happens. It's pretty big log. It might have limbs stuck in the ground. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a try. Sonny, you're out of the bike. You're good. Actually, I think I'll put you guys up here so you can actually see what happens back here. Maybe you can tell me, okay? So this is what's going down. You guys can see. Let's, let's hope for the best here. It's a big long log. Like a great big long log. Let's see what that's like, okay? Watch what that log does. Okay, did you guys see what that did? It worked exactly how I wanted it to, it was perfect. It, it, it actually rolled out, see there's my choker, there's my roll, that's a big log. Great big log, so there's the bite. Okay, so it rolled the log. Now we're up on some logs. I might get lucky if I come back in here and give this another pull on a short rope. We might get lucky. We're gonna see. We got some obstacles in the way. So we're actually gonna back up to lengthen the rope because the more, the longer the rope, the more stretch. I don't want a ton of stretch. I want a little more direct grab right now. I'll talk to you guys in okay, a second. friends, we're back on here. We're logging with the Mercury. We got weight in the Merc. Now we got this great big long log that I just did that one little pull on. It worked out just lovely. Now what I've done is, because I'm gonna hit this pretty hard because I've got my double. So what I've done is I doubled up, friends. So now I've got twice the strength on this big old rope, which is strong to begin with. And I put a roll on the choker and you guys know what that means right you put this down in here like this okay and then when you pull the log it just like look how much it helped us the last time right so now i'm basically just gonna skin this log so it's got nothing to hang up Okay, I'm gonna back up. Sonny, I'll get you to hook me up. Power shots are out of the way. Pretty good pull. Did you get that strap out of there? Okay, uh, good. It's still under the log. Okay, well, we'll buck it out. I'm gonna run this 10-10 for a minute. You might wanna stick your, your headphones on there.
So in a normal pickup, usually what you get is about five rows. Okay, well we maximized our load here with a little uh, little notch, stump notching and choker rolling and it worked out good. Keep your notches clean. See that? Keep it clean. See? You want things to roll good. So that log was right behind there. Well, you guys saw all that. You saw all that. This, this area is basically logged. This is all being logged in here. We'll be back for this one. This is a good size log. I'll probably take that in two pieces. I'll probably use that stump over there as a block and I'll suck this out into there and then I'll reef it out. You know, like I'll grab it here and I'll pull it out there to there and then I'll reef it straight out. But there's the Merc doing her job, what she was meant to do. Back in 67 when she rolled out of the factory, she was designed to do this right here. This is it right here. This makes me happy, son. Hey, I got my boy with me, my McCulloughs, my old, gosh darn it. Life don't get better. We got a bee's nest on us here, right in here. There's our, there's our leaf springs. They're not even bent. They're not even flat yet, actually. They're not even flat. The main set of leaves is not even flat in this truck yet. Get this, son. This old Merc, she's going to fly down the road like a, just a wild old wagon. Look at that.
Okay, that's that. There's the old Merc back to back to normal. Nice load of wood. Really, really nice load of fur. I will enjoy burning that so much. That took seven minutes to unload. About eight minutes actually to unload the truck. Eight minutes. Which is really not a heck of a lot of time, is it, when you think about the big scheme of things? Got the heart rate up. Feels good. Feels real good. Got a sweat on my brow. You know, if a guy could manage to do that every every little bit every day, you know, get the, get that heart pumping, get it, get it, get it doing its thing. You know, as we get on, as older guys, you know, gosh, it's so important. It really is. That that was like I say, that was my that was my worst fear when I got smashed up. It was am I going to be able to do this again? It was oh god, that was a scary time. But I fought back. <laughs> That's, I'm telling you right now, every time I heard that song, I cried when I was laying in bed, damaged. I'm not kidding you. So, good sweat on. So, nice jag of wood. Really nice jag of wood. Definitely a cord there today. Definitely. Good looking cord. When that splits up, it just poof. That's yeah, nice wood. Real nice. And look at this. It should, it should be nice on the axe. You see? It should be pretty good. You know, I, I, I'm i going to make this a little bit uh, cluster of knots here, you see? You see? So, set your wood up. Take your time, work your way around the knots. Whew, get a sweat on. Get that testosterone running through your body. It feels so good. I love splitting wood. In the evenings, oh, it's beautiful. It gets cooler out. You get a nice muggy sweat on. Anyway, that's it for tonight. In I go. The woodman goes in. Over and out. Be kind. <laughs>